Hello everyone, I'm Kayla and I'm the Administrator for the Culture, Health and Wellbeing Alliance and this is the video version of the April 2024 Bulletin. Just to make you aware, everything that we mention will be linked in the chat below so you'll be able to have a closer look in your own time. Arts and Health Southwest, a legacy for the sector. Our friends at Arts and Health Southwest closed its doors on the 31st of March 2024 Arts and Health Southwest was founded in 2006 and was a leader in developing the creative health ecosystem for 18 years. Like so many of you, we're sad to see this trailblazing organisation go, but we're working with the National Centre for Creative Health to make sure all of the learning from Arts and Health Southwest feeds into everything we do and to share its legacy as widely as possible. Guest Vlog Alex Coulter on Arts and Health Southwest Alex has been involved with Arts and Health Southwest since 2005 and was its director from 2010 until its closure this year. Here she reflects on the organisation's work and the legacy with Fiona and Victoria from Schwab. Creativity and Wellbeing Week. Join our events. As well as adding your own events or sharing information about your organisation on the Creativity and Wellbeing Week site, you can also come along to a series of curated events in partnership with London Arts and Health, including a chance to explore the quality framework and the Creative Health Toolkit. Survey, Creative Health Quality Framework, deadline the 26th of April. Help us understand how you have been using the Creative Health Quality Framework. We're keen to hear from everyone who is involved in delivering, commissioning, funding or supporting creative health work. Guest blog, Sonic Minds. Programme director Keith Sykes of Lewisham Music explores the work of Sonic Minds, a programme that has already supported over 300 young people at elevated risk of experiencing a mental health issue. Director's blog, and so it goes on. In the face of terrible news, culture and creativity can hold up a mirror to our systems and offer something new. General Sector News Northern Ireland Mental Health Arts Fest, 10th to the 19th of May 2024 The theme of this year's Northern Ireland Mental Health Arts Fest is Pause. The festival begins in the city of Derry, Londonderry, with a symposium hosted by the Mayor of Derry City and Strabane District Council and moves across Northern Ireland to culminate in the city of Belfast. A Prescription for Life, Manchester, 16th to the 17th of May. A two-day in-person symposium focused on best practice in creative health with young people. Immerse yourself in conversations, performances and activities co-created and co-delivered by extraordinary young individuals with first-hand experience. Melva Digital Showcase, 16th of May. Join Mortal Falls for a digital showcase of Melva, a mental health education through storytelling programme. Melva is designed as an early intervention for children and uses recommended mental health first aid strategies. New Toolkit, Young People's Wellbeing, Creativity and Cultural Volunteering. Arts and Health Southwest has released a toolkit on collaborative working between young people, artists and cultural institutions to support programmes of creativity, well-being and volunteering. English Heritage collaborates with Trussell Trust. People will receive a voucher for a free visit to their local English Heritage site alongside emergency food parcels distributed at more than 100 different food bank centres in the Trussell Trust network. Counting the value of heritage to well-being. A new Historic England report estimates that local heritage across England has a value of £29 billion for people's well-being, using the Wellbeing Adjusted Life Year system. Move, Dance, Feel, Dance Training Move, Dance, Feel is offering two new training programmes. Dance in Cancer Care Practitioner Training, designed for dance artists to learn new skills, and Dance and Health, Advancing Your Practice. Nature Calling Commission Opportunities 
The National Landscapes Association is seeking an exceptional diverse range of artists to explore and celebrate nature and our national landscapes. New Mental Health Foundation Image Library includes creativity. Mental Health Foundation research shows that people often don't relate to the images the media use to talk about helping our own mental health. To change this, they have launched a free library of images. The themes covered are movement, nature, connection, the workplace and creativity. Developing inclusive leadership practice. Inclusive Cultures is a six month disabled led professional development program designed for cultural leaders seeking to take steps towards systemic change. Unlimited Open Awards announced. Unlimited Open Awards fund 15 new commissions from disabled artists and companies supported by Arts Council England, Arts Council of Wales, British Council and the National Lottery through Creative Scotland. The projects include a photo series documenting the lives of queer, black and brown and disabled voters and a BSL piece inspired by Dungeons and Dragons. Museum and Heritage Award shortlist announced. The full shortlist includes the Sustainable Projects of the Year Learning Award in partnership with GEM and the Community Engagement Award. Nottingham Gallery integrates Citizens Assembly into structure. New Art Exchange says it is the first cultural institution in the world to integrate a permanent citizen assembly into its leadership structure, whereby local residents will be given the opportunity to shape its decisions. The Big Help Out volunteering offers an opportunity for students. The Big Help Out offers organisations the chance to share volunteering opportunities and gives individuals an opportunity to try new things out. Policy updates and news. Cost of living impacting older people's health. Age UK suggests a quarter of people aged 50 plus have been affected severely or very severely, a figure which is far higher in people from minoritised ethnic groups, 46%. Rising costs for transport and social activities have also impacted mental health as people cut back. NHS satisfaction rates drop. Since 2020, the percentage of people satisfied with the way the NHS is going has fallen by 29% to a new low of 24%. Nearly half those surveyed support the government increasing taxes and spending more on the NHS. Short-term council funding is slowing progress to net zero. A new local government association survey suggests that bidding for short-term funding pot is hampering efforts to reach net zero targets. Marmot Places, the areas taking a proactive local approach to health inequalities. The British Medical Journal article focuses on places across the UK that have an active focus on reducing inequalities by focusing on the social determinants of health.